I know when you are getting started with YouTube, just how overwhelming the idea of even video editing can be, let alone which editing software you should pay for and commit to. And my goal with this video is to help you make this decision making process a lot easier and clearer. Now, over the last couple of years, I've managed to get not only hundreds of thousands of subscribers for my own channel, but also for my clients channels as well. And I've tried pretty much all the editing softwares out there under the sun. So in this video, I'm going to give you a quick summary of each one of them the pros and cons to it and you know hopefully it will help you decide which ones to actually go for so let's jump right into it so first of all i want to start with the most beginner friendly option which is CapCut. now there is a couple of reasons i really like CapCut. first one is you can get it for free right which is a big pro because especially if you're not yet making money maybe from your personal brand or your youtube channel i know it can be a bit tough to spend a lot of money on expensive editing software so that's why i think it's a great option if you're just starting out it's also very beginner friendly in terms of the entire interface it's really simple to learn even if you are using the desktop version which is the one that i would recommend you to use if you are going to make long form content but it is also available on all devices so technically you could even add it on your ipad or your phone now the free version does have limited capabilities but it can still do most of the things that you will need as a beginner you can do all the cutting the transitions adding music and sound effects to your videos and so on as well so it's great that they have a lot of built-in like effects and different kind of like video editing assets that you can use and also there's quite a lot of tutorials available for it for free on youtube now if you do get the paid version of it though they have some pretty amazing like automatic features that you can unlock so for example the auto cutout feature where you can take out the background from you like if it was a green screen that is so easy to use and it works so well and it would be a lot more time and energy to recreate in some of the more advanced editing software so for just the ease of use alone, I quite like CapCut as a whole. Now, the biggest con to it, I guess, or the biggest limitation is that it, it does have limited capabilities, right? It's not meant to be an editing software for the professionals. So if you want to take things to the highest level and become one of, you know, the greatest editors of all time, you will probably feel limited after some point in CapCut. But for just getting started, it's a solid option. Now, the second I'm going to put as the intermediate pick, but it can also be used for professional use if if you want to is going to be DaVinci Resolve. Now, the reason I'm putting it as intermediate pick is because it also does have a free version, which is very, very capable. So if you still don't want to spend a lot of money, but you want to unlock some of those more advanced features, you know, DaVinci can be a great option for you. They also have a paid version, which is also a one-time payment instead of a subscription. So I really like that as well. But with DaVinci, you just unlock a whole new world of capabilities that you can do, not only with more advanced things such as color grading and animating things, but even just the way the entire timeline operates and the way the entire system is laid out, it's much more customizable. Now, as far as the pros, one thing I like is it is quite well optimized. So even if you don't have the highest specs of your computer in the world, it will still run quite well. And it's also available on both Windows and Mac as well. Now, another big bonus for DaVinci is that it also gets updates pretty frequently, right? So even though like if you might have some bugs here and there, they will usually get patched pretty quick but the stability though is still a big strength of this software compared to some of the other competitors I'm gonna be talking about in a second it is a lot more stable and it very rarely crashes from my experience now the two biggest cons that I could think of for DaVinci is that number one it does have quite a steep learning curve especially if we compare it to something like CapCut it's way harder to learn you will definitely need a lot more patience and a lot more dedication to actually become great at it but you can go a lot further than some of the most basic editing softwares for sure you can be using it for professional use as well. But the other con is also that there isn't as much available material for it right now. Now, if you're watching this a little bit later in the future, we are working actually on something huge. We're basically making a community for you to learn all the skills that you need to succeed in today's attention economy. So if you're interested in that, check it out in the description below. But anyways, for now, there isn't much free great tutorials on it. So that is a bit of a downside to it for right now. Then for our third pick, we have Final Cut Pro X. Now, I would say this is more of an, again, intermediate slash pro software. Definitely a lot of professionals use it as well, but it can be also a great software for you, even if you are not trying to be a professional, but you just want to edit, you know, again, quite advanced, but not super advanced.
freelance videos. I really like a lot of things about Final Cut and it's one of the softwares I've actually used the most throughout my career. One thing I love about it is that it's super fast. It's blazing fast because it is unfortunately also only for Apple, right? So you cannot use it on a Windows computer, which is one of the downsides of it. However, because of the fact it's only made for Apple, it's very optimized, it's very quick. Whether you are just editing with it or you are exporting a file, it's going to you know go through it with a breeze. Now, in my opinion, it's also one of the easiest to learn out of all the pro softwares. It's just very intuitive, in my opinion. I love the magnetic timeline feature of it as well. And I can edit super quickly in it. Like for my type of workflow that I like to follow, it's probably the most optimal out of all the different softwares. Another downside to it though, is that it is also paid and it's a pretty high one-time payment of around $300. However, in the long term, it's cheaper than if you were to go with a subscription model for sure. So overall, what I do like about Final Cut is that it's very quick. It's gonna run really well on pretty much any Mac. And it has all the features that you will need really as a YouTuber who's kind of starting out, or even if you're more intermediate, you will be able to most likely do pretty much anything you want. However, on the downside, there are definitely less plugins and just overall assets available for it compared to some of the other softwares. And also in terms of tutorials, there's a good amount for it, but it's not like an insanely huge library. And if you are trying to make crazy like 3D spaces and just super advanced animations, it's definitely not the best option for it. Going on to our fourth pick, I will be kind of putting together Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects. So kind of like the Creative Cloud suite. Now this is definitely on the pro level side of things. It definitely also has one of the highest learning curves, just like DaVinci Resolve. It takes a lot of time to master these two softwares and to get really good at it. Even if you have good guidance and you are part of an amazing community and you can learn from experts who already have done what you are trying to do, it will still take effort, even though it will be a lot faster. But once you learn them, you can do pretty much anything you want with just these two softwares, Premiere and After Effects together. Premiere is kind of like your workhorse for making the foundation of your edits. And then After Effects is what you can use to create just these visuals that are going to wow everyone and make them ask you, how the hell did you do that? Now, what I love about these two softwares is the customizability is insanely high in them. You can pretty much customize them however you want, whether we are talking about the layout or any other part of the software really to exactly fit the type of workflow that you are trying to create for yourself. You can be very efficient with it once you learn it and once you customize it for your needs. And I would say that Premiere and After Effects is kind of like the industry standard still, even though there are more and more people using DaVinci Resolve as well and Final Cut. But overall, I would say that Adobe is still looked at as like the industry standard for professional use cases. There is tons of material available for it and a lot of resources, presets, plugins, that you can use to take your videos to the next level, including our membership site as well, which you can find in the description below. Now, in terms of the cons, there are a couple to it. Now, obviously it's not only good things. There are a couple cons to it as well. First one is the quite high monthly fee that you have to pay for it. If you are a student, it is a lot cheaper, but it's still not free by any means. It's also not as stable as some of the other ones. You will have it crash on you a couple of times, probably every single week or month. And also it definitely needs pretty strong computer specs. So for example, Final Cut can work on a MacBook Air with like pretty minimal specifications. And Premiere Pro, if you want it to run really well and you want to edit 4K footage even, you will need a beefier computer for sure. So which ones do I like out of these the most? Well, if I'm trying to get my work done as quickly as possible, I personally prefer Final Cut out of these options. And if I need to create something that is just really advanced, really something I, I couldn't do in Final Cut, I'm going to go for the Premiere Pro and after after Effects combo, even though I'm not that good at After Effects, fortunately my team is. And that's not to say that I don't like DaVinci Resolve or CapCut or any of the other softwares as well that are not on this list. These are just some of the most popular ones that people use nowadays. So if you're just starting out, you know, feel free to get started with even CapCut. But I think if you are in it for the long term, I would look at one of the other ones and, you know, just really look at all the pros and cons I also told you in this video. And also just think about what you are going to be using it for personally to help you make an educated decision. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some value from it. If you want to learn more about how to become a better editor and also go on social media and learn how to monetize these skill sets in the modern age, then subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys in the next one.